Hello and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm playing chicken on the railroad tracks. But, no. I, I am going after the legendary buck. And then we'll head our, we'll make our way back up to the Indian Reservation. So, it should be, I'm trying to cut through all the trees and all the stuff. Why is there dead animals? Whoa, did I kill those? I think I did. Yeah. Is there a way to get down? Or do I have to go? See, I was trying to avoid taking the road the long way, but I guess I can't. Oh, you kidding me? You better shut up that pretty mouth, or I'll Hold on. Done it for you. Oh my goodness, see? Get me off this horse! Hold on, I will. Oh, he- <laughs> That guy's like, nah, I don't want anything to do with that. Alright. Can I- Let's see. Well, don't you- Oh my goodness, Sir, Arthur. Please help me out of here. The Lord, you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. I believe it. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. You gonna take the horse? Yes. Nice folks around here. Oh, yeah. So nice. Who's this guy? This is, let me loot him before. Oh, whoa, lady. You almost ran me over. At least I didn't lose honor for yeah. looting the guy that was going to steal the lady. I thought that was nice. I finally got to rescue someone because usually I always miss it. Is it this one? <gasps> oh, hello, Orpsos. Did not expect you guys to be right here. I've lit entered oh, oh. legendary territory. Perfect. Um, where is the scent? I think I still have the legendary wolf pelt on the back of my horse. That's all right. We'll just turn them in together. So I headed back. Ooh, bonding level two. I headed back to the reservation because the legendary elk, there was too much activity going on. They had some campers, they had, it was just, it was just a mess. So we'll head back and do that after um, doing this mission. Wait. Can I pitch it? I would like to hitch the horse. Jeez. Arthur. Good. Okay. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Cat Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Mm. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? 
I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Hmm. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Look at all those chickens. The horde of chickens and is that cats? So this Colonel Favors, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes. And no. Mm. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I'm not a discreet person. I understand. In so game, I should drop the wagon back at the reservation. Game. Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws. But I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I was thinking of. Oh. Let's okay. go up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. <laughs> Easy. I was nowhere near you, sir. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Make sure I have... Oh, never mind. I can't look at my guns. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly... Fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Keep it clean. Retrieve the medicine from the supply wagon. How? Okay, girl. Yep. Stop 
anywhere? Hold it right there! Whoa, you better put that down right now. Yeah. Gonna need your cargo, fellas. Are you insane? <laughs> somewhere else and away from the soldiers off of the path Oh no! I was about to say, did I kill the first? Can I get in here now? Did I screw it up? Yep. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Alright, 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 alright! Oh my god. I just want to get inside the toggle hey, wagon. All right, hold on. All right, shh, look at me. All right, let's cut you free. Cut free. Go. Or not. Okay. Cut free. Go. Go on. Oh, 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 okay. Right. How do I search for? Oh, there we go. Search. Turn to the captain. Get out. Boop. Horses, go! Like, don't stand there and poop. Just go. Yeah. Shoo, you're free! Get going. Not my camp, but the reservation. I'm gonna hitch the horse to a tree. Oh my god, the cows are running. Great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. 
I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. So, what else do we have? I will go back and get that legendary elk that I tried to do earlier. But who is this? Beaver Hollow. What is that? Josiah. Trelawney needs to speak to me. We can go there. And then maybe see Monica and then make our way down to San Denis. But I do want to come back here. And see about that legendary elk. Alright, let's see. What message will it give to me right now? Uh, finding... Okay, hunt... The hunt this legendary enemy by finding a special. So, I'm assuming everybody has chilled out. Nobody is here camping. So. We now we can now we can actually hunt. Oh, and I totally passed it up. In the poop. I better get moving. Where? Must be close. Now it must be close. First it ain't close, now it must be close. Arthur, make up your mind. Oh, there it is. It's so pretty and white. Miss it? Whoa, 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 whoa! <sighs> Almost ran me over. I'm sorry. the horse. Really? Come on, here. Right. So I got a wolf pelt and now I have the elk pelt. I need to find a trapper. Which is funny because I found it here, but the little pictures right here. So the trapper, the trapper's right here. It's not, it's not too far away from camp. So let's, 
let's head that way. And then we'll go and see what they want at a camp. Yeah. Why? Easy. What happened? Uh Hey! You ain't got no business being here. Then what are you doing, sir? Why are you checking the dead man that's still on the side of the road? You better turn heel right now, you hear me? This what you want? I ain't here to cause trouble. Yeah, you're funny, like a hole in the head. <gasps> Whatever, dude. Huh. You have to be on foot to interact. Rise, rise, girl. So. Okay, let's take a look at it. Legendary wolf pelt Once and in legendary a lifetime, elk eh? pelt. Um, grizzly mutton. All right, shopkeeper, what can I buy? Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. Bear trophy dream catcher? No. Ooh, that's fun. Legendary ram hat and legendary ram bat I wing traps. Stores. You want my wares? Right here's the one place to find them. Ghost bison. Legendary white bison hat. Oh my gosh. Uh, legendary elk range gloves. That's nice. Those are some very white gloves. Oh, I'm not gonna really buy too much right now. But that was nice. Those those um, gloves were pretty, but they were just like really white. So let's head back to camp. Trelawney uh, would like to talk to us. And then maybe we'll go see Micah. And like, because, I mean, I'd rather talk to Micah than Dutch. And Dutch was in that other photo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, it was bound to happen. Yeah. 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 You're all right. You're <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Help me, you actually, please. You... I didn't do nothing, I swear. All right. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I almost ran over that guy and his dog. Yeah. Why? Trying to do this in the dark. Good thing I, uh... <laughs> Good thing I didn't have my pelts on me. That elf one would have flown away. Listen, 
I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. I, I know what went on in Blackwater. Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess. Oh, there he is. Josiah. Right. I um I was uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Didn't I just Perhaps. throw him out? Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was guy. you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. Well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Aww. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Hmm. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Of course. It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. Oh, Charles. Anything you for Charles. This man. I love him. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. Anything for Charles. Some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Just a few. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. Mm -hmm. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Right. Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Riding because riding back and forth in this area is it takes a long time, and I, I tend to run into things. Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello, whoa. So, 
So I am going to do what it says, a repeater. So let's take the rifle too. We charge the killer now. Kola with Yampi. Yopo, Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Oh, it took my stuff away. I have one gun on me. Just in case. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, well I should hope not. Yeah. We'll see about that. Listen, Mr. <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't Arthur, say Shush. that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Yes, he Come is. this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. Hmm. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? He favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. Hightail favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. Can I get up now? That treaty is I missed no the uh, get up notion. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> New land. The lands water, you currently really? occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. 
Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I... I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Hmm. We need to leave now. Think about what you're doing. I got a shot. You son of a bitch. I'll kill I'm you. Come on. Woo, 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 woo. Let's go. Come on. Charles, the last time we had a uh, getaway. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, but we can. But I can. Watch out, our man. Please hold your Look out. Oh, that's a hard. Um, last time I had a scene with Hold Charles and we had to run. Ooh, I see, shot the tree. Um, yeah. we, we collided. More on the left! Head for the trees! We're pending! Go! Watch and cover up! Deck one roll! Come on! Come on, Captain! Can you shoot? I can't do it! They're trying to kill you! That just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. Uh, I wouldn't <laughs> think so. Yes, not.
here, Captain Monroe? I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <clears throat> are you okay? Well, no. Never better. Dying. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> 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 What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? Tell him, sister. I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> <sighs> I guess I... Those love words. I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! Go to Mexico with your sister. I know I you will. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Morgan. I Goodbye. mean, honestly, sister. my Arthur has enough money to just get out of here. Just saying. Let's, we're, we're close to um, Emerald Ranch. So let's get on the horse, Arthur. Let's go to the fence and um, see if, if I can get any trinkets. My dead eye is empty. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Bubbers. <gasps> you look like death warmed up. <coughs> Well, likewise, Seamus. Bye. Well, life no? takes its toll on all of us. I don't. But guess we're still here. Yo. Canned peas. Sure. Uh, predator bait mask. Executioner hood. Canvas sack hood. Metal skull mask. And psycho mask. Ooh, what's that? It's a hockey mask. 
Um, let's see. Tomahawk special bitters pamphlet. Um, special horse medicine pamphlet. Ah, this is all the pamphlets. Okay, dude, I need you to craft me some stuff. Antler, elk antler trinket. Um, what does it do? Permanently increases the value of players' loot money by 10%. That would have been very useful at the beginning of the game, but I did do it. Ooh, what was that? Wolf heart trinket. Player can consume twice as more alcohol before feeling negative effects. Life, you got the mask on. Beaver trinket. Cougar, I need beaver, cougar, fox. Panther. I don't know how that. Oh well. Got a little kick show in mind. Oh huh? no! Come on, Arthur. <laughs> Thanks. This is a tight ranch. Folk here got no time for my. Oh boy, I didn't mean to put this on my face. I didn't know I'd put it on. I just bought it. I didn't think that it would actually put it on. Now look, it's itchy. All right, take that off, please. I didn't want to eat beans. I wanted to take off the mask. Oh my god, how do I take it off? There we go. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you putting that mask on? I took it off. I didn't put it on. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I put this one on. Oh no! Oh, Arthur, stop eating beans. Okay. Anywho, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you, everybody who has joined me. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time.